do in one fifth if you adjust for purchasing power. Okay, there. so where do you expect, this is a bold uh, challenge, where do you expect the Dow, the S&P, where do you expect the major stock market indexes to be 12 months from now? Okay, well, you know, I, I've got a chart that shows that since the correction in 2011, the only substantial correction in this bubble boom here uh, recently, is that, that we're going in a channel up. And, and, and we have a, a key turning point we're looking at in our cycles, mid to late March. The likelihood is stocks will continue to edge up and, and to about 2175 in this chart. Or we break above maybe 2300, but that's, that's 19 to 20,000 in the Dow. Think of that term. That's as high as we see things going if it gets there. And then when it falls, we have a broader pattern of higher highs and, and the bubble booms, 2000 peak, 2007 peak and now 2014 or early 2015, the next new low is likely to be around 5,500 to 6,000 on the Dow by late 2016 to early 2017. We're gonna have a bigger crash than we saw in 2008 and early 2009. Every bubble goes higher, every crash goes lower because we're not solving the problem. We have higher debt, we have worse demographics ahead. So how could we not have a worse crash? So most economists think, oh, we'll just have a 20% correction this year and then we'll go on and on. No, we're not. We're saying the market's likely to peak by mid to late March. The, the other scenario, is that oil prices just keep plummeting, although they're, they're bouncing today, but if they just keep plummeting down to 32 bucks in the next so many weeks or, or, or a couple months, stocks could, could basically fall, uh, start to fall now. Uh, and, 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 and in this channel we're talking about in this chart, if stocks, if the S&P breaks below about 1870, which is not that far down, just about 10% from the top, this, this bubble's over. And, and it's going to burst more. So I'm watching the oil price. That's the key leading indicator. My, my um, preferred scenario out of all, and in, and in the short term, I'm always guessing. In the long term, we have very credible indicators. But in the short term, you have to guess. I can't predict when a tsunami is going to hit Japan or, or Putin's going to invade Crimea, all that sort of stuff. But you can look at, 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 at pattern. Sure. If you exclude wild cards, the surest thing throughout history is demographics. Yeah. That's the, well, that's the surest thing in the last century. Once we've had middle class economies, which were a product of the free market capitalist system of innovation, we didn't have a middle class, you know, before the, you know, after World War II and stuff. You know, we just had, you know, kings and peasants. That's all we had for most of history. So this is a big deal. And, and when the average person makes a lot of income and has a lot of spending power, it makes demographics more important than ever. So, yes, you're right. The economy here and in any country around the world that has any sort of somewhat free market capitalist democracy has followed demographic trends predictably. It is the best indicator, but in the short term, I can just look at, okay, here's the patterns, here's this channel. The likelihood is we're gonna keep edging up because this market just wants to go up. It's a market on crack, I call it. It's being fueled all this trillions of dollars of central banks. It's not going into lending. It's not going back to consumers or householders. It's just going into speculation. So the markets wanna go up until something goes wrong. And this oil well, that was my next question, is the, the, the high-frequency trading, the flash trading, the manipulations, yeah. the plunge protection team, can that beat the demographic facts that were there previously? Can they bring us into a world of true false reality, economic 1984, uh, where the real economy's dead and in a deflationary spiral, but... There's an inflation spiral in luxury goods in the future, and the elite just get more and more separated from the public. Yeah, well, that, that is what has been happening. They have defeated demographics. We would have gone into a Great Depression without $10 trillion of money printing from all the cent major central banks around the world. They are fighting deflation. They are fighting debt deleverage. They don't want this to happen. The problem is the tools they're using to fight it are creating another bubble and bubbles always burst. We've always said it's not gonna be inflation that's gonna be the problem because we're in a deflationary environment. The problem is gonna be central banks are gonna create another even bigger bubble in real estate and stocks and everything else around the world and then that bubble's gonna burst and guess who gets hurt the most when those bubbles burst? The little guys. The rich people. It's not the little, the everyday person's already been crucified with-, with Okay, so I'm wrong about that. Explain that to me then, because that's interesting. Who get, well, I would say the nouveau riche, the middle rich, the insider elites, they're gonna make money on the rigged market on the ups and downs like a casino from my lay view. Explain to 
me, though, who that rich group is that gets hurt the worst. Well, you know, everybody talks about the top 20%. That's the college-educated, affluent, low employment. They're doing better than ever. But, you know, the, we I just did a report in my newsletter that it, it's not really the 20 but if you look at the top 20%, the 10, top 10% made most of those gains. If you look at the top 10%, the top 1%, one-tenth of them made most of those gains. You look at the top 1%, the top 0.1%, one out of a thousand households, made most of those gains. So, so things are heavily skewed towards the very rich. The problem with that, Alex, is the very rich not only own yachts and private jets that are going to be worthless and Ferraris, they own all these companies and all these financial assets that are overinflated. The average person has maybe 30, 40 grand in stocks and some bonds in their 401k plan. They get hurt when the economy goes down, when jobs and wages aren't as good. But the rich get crucified sure. when these bubbles burst. So you're that's saying the luxury economy is going to look like a highway sign that's been yeah. shot 20 times by hillbillies with 12 gauges. Yeah, it, it is dead, just like fracking's dead. The luxury economy is dead. If you own a yacht, sell it now. If you own a private jet, sell it now. If you own a Ferrari, sell it now. If you own a $100 million dumbass condo in New York, sell it now. These people, these things are going to go down the worst. In the 1930s, real estate was not in a bubble in the Roaring Twenties. It was stocks, and it was farmland and tractors. It was a tractor bubble, if you want to really get down to it. Uh, when the bubble burst, New York went up five years after the main market in the 1929. Sure. The and it collapsed twice as much and didn't even come off the bottom. Sure, sure. Let's say uh, you know the average retiree out there you know, has a million dollars in retirement funds, let's say, uh, you know, let's say some upper middle class person, let's say some nouveau riche has $20 million in assets. What, if you had $100,000, what would you do with it? If you had $10 million, what would you do with it? If you had $100 million, what would you do with it? Just briefly, and then we'll go to calls. You know, it's, it's basically the same. In 2008, what never happened before since the 1930s, in a bubble burst, in a deflationary era, everything goes down except for cash, the highest quality bonds, like a 10-year treasury bond or a, or a German boon, you know, everything goes down. Commodities went down, gold went down, silver went down, real estate went down, small cap stocks, large cap stocks, German stocks, emerging company stocks, um, country stocks. Everything went down. The safest thing is to be in cash or very safe bonds and or if you're willing to take a little risk, you go on the short side. You maybe take 20% of your portfolio and short the S&P 500 or short the small cap index uh, if you want to make some money. But I think the, to me, to most people, I say, look, this is a bubble. It's going to be violent. Just protect the gains you've made in real estate and stocks. So it's like a hurricane. You need to board up your house. Crash. Then you can buy. So it's like a hurricane. Board up your house. Protect yeah. your assets. Emerge after. That's where the sure profits are. And here's the thing people don't get out, that people say, well, I'm not making any money at zero or one or two percent. You make money when everything falls and you can buy two, three, four, five, six times as much. Exactly. As a property you can buy that million dollar Ferrari for $60,000. You can buy that million dollar bus for $100,000. You can buy that $5 million house for half a million dollars. That's exactly. what happens in a depression. That's what happens. You have to have cash because nobody's going to lend you money when you see an opportunity. If you don't have cash or cash flow, you're not going to be able to take advantage of the greatest sale in our lifetime. And mark my words on that, the greatest sale in our lifetime on financial assets of every type. That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go in, in real estate, folks. It's going to be just plunging, in my view. Uh, L.A. from California. Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, uh, just I just want to uh, say I respect both you guys, but I think uh, Mr. Dent's missing the picture on oil coming down being uh, leading to a worse condition. That, that's exactly what I, you must have misunderstood what I said. I'm saying oil going down, especially this rapidly, is going to lead to worse conditions. It's a sign that the global economy is slowing. Caller, China, uh, I, I mean, I, I want to see what the caller said. I, I, I kind of missed it. Are you saying you think Dent doesn't think oil going down is bad, or are you thinking he thinks it's good? What, what, what are you saying? Well, I think that's missing, missing the point. Uh, yeah, oil comes down is going to be good in a lot of ways and bad in a lot of ways, but let's take oil out of the picture for a second. Uh, there's supposed to be other technologies coming online. I've, I've seen them on uh, news uh, about generators that can use uh, uh, different things 
in a much better way. Uh, that's got to be a good thing. Sure, sure. I mean, new and new technologies could be wild cards. The issue is they have to be scaled up. Even the quickest scaling takes what yeah. ten years. Uh, so, uh, no, no, no. You're you're right, Alex. It, it, he is right. It is a good in, when you see inflation extremes or deflation extremes. It is going to promote radical new innovations, just like we got personal computers and cell phones out of the '70s, and we got the jet engine and and radar. And, and the computer out of the 30s and 40s. It will be good long term. He's right about that. But you're right. It takes decades for this stuff to scale up and make a difference. Once it's invented, a lot of alternative technologies are going to fail. Uh, electric cars, I, I wouldn't buy Tesla uh, at a dollar today. Um, that's going to fail if oil prices are $10, and, $20. And he's right, though. Some more radical technologies will emerge that can compete it lower oil prices. Sure, but that's 10 years down the road if this continues. Yeah. Yeah. L.A., thank you. A good point. John, Tim, Paul, Tony, your calls are coming up. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv. Check out the website, harrydent.com forward slash Alex Jones. to find the free chapter of his book, the free newsletter, and more. Stay with us. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Millions of people are going to get sick this winter from colds, flus, and other illnesses. Make sure you're not one of them. Protect yourself with Supernatural Silver, a revolutionary new product. Recent advances in silver technology have resulted in a silver solution that can be used daily to help prevent bacteria, viruses, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is safe enough to use daily while powerful enough to help your own immune system destroy the causes of many serious diseases. Supernatural Silver has the ability to terminate entire colonies of harmful bacteria at several hundred times the effectiveness of colloidal or ionic silver. The Science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern medicine. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com today and use the promo code SILVER2015 for 30% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. The CDC just announced flu vaccines may have the wrong strain of flu virus. You may not be protected. Whatever your lifestyle, your immune system is critical and Immudine provides your immune support. Doctor recommended stimulant free and not found in pharmacies. Go to Immudine.com to find out more or to place an order or call 866-257-8668. That's I-M-M-U-D-Y-N-E.com or 866-257-8668. Remember, Immudine is key support for your immune system. We'll do a little bit of overdrive to take more of your calls with our guest, Harry Dent. I'm Alex Jones. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central, for all the PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Please don't forget, you can get 20 memberships for $2.50 a month right now. Each membership can be used by 20 people simultaneously. It's half off right now in the month of January. PrisonPlanet.tv, see the nightly news. This show in HD, so much more. PrisonPlanet.tv.
TV. I want to thank all the members out there. You're making it possible. Uh, going back to 